everyone! I'm Vanetta from The Handyman's Daughter and this is week four of my half bath remodel for the one room challenge. This week I focus on the bathroom floor. The existing tile was in great shape and I was hesitant to rip it all out. You never know what you're going to find under there. Instead, I took a chance and decided to paint the tile instead. I used a bold geometric stencil to create the same pattern I found on a similar but really expensive cement tile. Let's take a look to see how it turned out. I started by sanding the tile with 80 grit sandpaper. This will rough up the surface and make the paint adhere better. Then I scrubbed it down with a heavy duty cleaner and degreaser. I did this twice to make sure the tile was squeaky clean. Next, I applied this primer to the entire floor. It's formulated to work on tile and other slick surfaces and will help the paint stick. This stuff is really thick and dries quickly, so work in small sections and avoid brushing into areas you've already coated. Once the primer is dry, give it a quick sanding with 220 grit sandpaper to remove any brush strokes. Wipe off the dust with a tack cloth. Now it's time for the base paint color. I used porch and patio paint straight out of the can with no tinting for a bright white. Brush it into the grout lines first, then use a foam roller on the flat surfaces. Roll it from all angles to ensure that the tile edges are covered. I applied two coats, waiting 24 hours for it to dry in between. Tape your stencil in place over the tile. Mine was custom sized to be centered over four smaller tiles with the grout lines in between. Apply a tiny bit of floor paint to the foam pouncer, then dab it into the center and edges of the stencil design. I would dip the foam into the paint, then press it into a paper towel to remove most of it. Build up the color slowly or the paint will bleed under the stencil and you'll have lots of touching up to do. After you've filled in the entire pattern, carefully peel off the stencil. Pull it straight up to avoid smudging the paint. Ta-da! Touch up any splotches with a flat artist brush. This bold geometric pattern really makes the bathroom floor pop. I decided to leave the tiles around the edges white to create a border that frames the room. The dark blue matches the vanity I'll be installing next week and pulls the whole room together. It's hard to believe this is just paint. I'll admit, when I first started painting the stencil on my crisp white floor, I thought I was making a huge mistake. But once the pattern was complete, I was really happy with the final look. It really gives the bathroom the wow factor I wanted without being too overwhelming in such a small space. I'm in the home stretch now. All I have left to do is install the vanity, faucet, and fixtures. I'm also planning to create a piece of wall art to add to the painted side of the room to balance it out. Tune in next week to see the final results. I can't wait to show you how it turns out. See you soon.